You know it's a good day when you're cooking up Greek for dinner. This classic Greek dish is as good as they come. And every bite is the definition of comfort food. <laughs> it yeah. really is. I just, I, it's a, a little taste of grease. And it's fun to say too. <laughs> moussaka, yeah, I mean, you, how can you not love it? Oh, it is I a little taste moussaka. of grease. All right, we're gonna get going. We've got a nice large skillet here. I've got a tablespoon of olive oil that I've heated and I've got about a cup of chopped onion, that's one medium onion, and then I've got a cup of chopped carrots, that's probably two medium carrots. So it's a mirepoix without the pois. It's <laughs> without the <laughs> celery, yes, that's a good way of saying it. So we're going to cook this until it gets nice and soft. So this, it, a lot of people do say this is kind of like like lasagna is obviously Italian, moussaka is Greek, and they're, they're similar, layers, they're kind layers. of layers, but instead of with pasta, we've got these delicious yes. vegetables. Look at these potatoes, all nice and brown. Uh, we cut these into quarter inch slices, and then we just popped them into some oil, like a quarter inch deep of oil, and got them all nice and brown. They're not crisp, they're just really you do them, brown. Yeah, they're, they're, we used russet potatoes, we mm -hmm. peeled them, and then we, and we cut them kind of, kind of nice and thin, and then, then we've and then got... got this eggplant. Look at that gorgeous fried eggplant. That's like, once again, I think you did like a were those, were those quarter inches? Those are a little bigger no, than quarter the, inches. The, so the potatoes are not going to uh, reduce as much in size. The, the, the uh, eggplant has got a lot of w water in it, moisture, and so it's going to reduce down. So um, We fry it until this gorgeous color. Until, until they get nice and brown. It's about 10 minutes, and you're probably going to want to do it in batches. And the great thing about this is that you can, you can do so many of the elements of moussaka <laughs> in stages. Um, you can do the, the meat sauce that we're doing right now way in advance. You can do that. We did this earlier this morning yeah. because if you do it all at once, it's fun, but it's a project. It I, takes I, a while. It, it's a project. <laughs> it, um, but anyway, all right, we're going to continue cooking this until it gets nice and soft for well, another couple minutes. Okay. Okay, moving right along. So that took about five minutes. Now we've got three cloves of garlic that I've minced. We're going to add that. Uh, we're just building the flavor. That's right. I love moussaka so much. It's similar. It, it's, there's a lot of uh, similarities to pastizio, yeah. which we did not too long ago. The meat sauce is really almost the same. The same. And then it has this really thick Greek uh, bashmels uh, layer on top that we'll, we'll do that. Like, but that's similar so good, to pasticcio too. Pasticcio. Pasticcio. Okay, so now we've got, we're gonna go beef. I think probably the more traditional way um, in Greece would be lamb. Lamb. Um, but we're gonna do ground beef. Ground beef is still very popular too. <laughs> What's that line she says in? Uh, my big fat Greek wedding. She goes, he goes, He's, I'm vegetarian. She goes, that's okay. I make lamb. I make lamb. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So today we're not doing a vegetarian moussaka. Uh, we're going to use beef, and uh, but that's okay. It's delicious. So we're going to cook this until it's, <clears throat> excuse me, until it's no longer pink. Okay, moving right along. Yes. So this is nicely cooked. Um, depending on what kind of beef you used, I think I used 85% lean. It's going to render some grease. It, it, it's, it's Greek, but we don't want <laughs> grease that much. I don't like a lot of grease in my uh, sauce, even though it is grease. grease. But uh, so all I do is I just tilt my pan to the side and then uh, just spoon most of it off. Leave like a tablespoon in because there's so much flavor there. It's it's really delicious. Okay, speaking of delicious, we are going to add now a cup of good hearty red wine. Some um, grapes. What is the god of uh, the god of wine? Uh, Dionysus, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you can get a good uh, red Greek wine, that's even better. But I think we're just using a Cabernet here. This was a cup, and it just flavors that meat mm. sauce. This is where there's a similarity to Italian lasagna meat sauce. So, all right, this is going to go for about five to eight minutes. And I've got all these tomatoes here Yay. that Chris is going to make me go in and squish. So you, if you know me, <laughs> I just love getting whole tomatoes. If you can find some San Marzano, make sure when you find them, it says certified, so they're really from that region in Italy. They're just so flavorful. They're, they're packed at the height of their flavor. <laughs> I'm going to get when, it all over my shirt. And you get them all over your shirt, and it's so much fun. That means it's really, really good. Um, you go, Of course, you could do, this, this was from one 28-ounce can with the juices. You could use also crushed tomatoes, you know, if you you really wanted to not use your hands, <laughs> but it's fun to get the loon to do that. It it's really, really good. So, all right, this is gonna. We're gonna let this cook until almost all of the liquid is gone, and that that alcohol is gonna completely cook out, and the wine is gonna be reduced. And then we add some other 
deliciousness. And this. Yes. <laughs> okay, oh, the smell is oh, so good. It's so great. So good. Now we're gonna start doing some things that really make it distinctively Greek. Uh, well, let's, let's go ahead and put in those tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. That's not distinctive, that's Mediterranean. Um, but when we get to the spices, yes. that was, so that was the tomatoes that Wesley so brilliantly crushed. And this is a quarter, <laughs> oops, a quarter cup of tomato paste. Now we're gonna add, just to give it a little depth of flavor, that's one bouillon, beef bouillon cube that we're nice. um, gonna add to the seasoning. Now, all right, now let's start having some fun. So Greek meat sauce tends to have a little bit of a sweetness to it. Uh, it that's what makes it just, gives it this warmth. So this. <laughs> I love it. Is a quarter teaspoon of allspice. This is a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. cinnamon. Cinnamon! I love that. I know, the cinnamon is a, a signature uh, spice. And then this is a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Yes. One of my favorite things in the world to cook with. And then just to add a little more cinnamon, we're gonna put a whole cinnamon there stick we in go. there. And then to give it a little more savory flavor, we're gonna add a little uh, bay leaves. <laughs> love it. And then we're gonna add some salt. Now, I believe that this, uh, this Musaki can really handle a decent amount of salt. So I would say start with a teaspoon and a half, but we think two teaspoons is yeah. the right quantity. So Do we're it. gonna go two teaspoons of salt and then a teaspoon of black pepper. Now. <laughs> Wait, again. can I just yes. get show everybody? Flo, look at this Flo. Hi Flo. <laughs> Flo loves it when we make Musaka. Yeah. <laughs> she is a big Musaka fan. Oh, so now it. another signature thing about, if you remember when we did pastizio, um, it's not that the sauce is, it, this is where it's a little different from Italian. The, Italian is a little thinner sauce, so when you dig into it, it's, it, it's got a little flow to it. We like to do our Greek sauce, so it's got a little thickness to it, so yeah. when you cut into it, it's almost like a square piece. So good. So that means we really need to cook this down. It, 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 it's two things. It, it really lets the flavors meld really, really good, but it also yes. cooks that liquid out. So it's, it's it not, I'm not gonna say it's dry, but it's not real, as you would say, runny <laughs> or watery. watery. So we're gonna let this cook for anywhere from, you can let it go from 30 minutes to an hour, um, and you're gonna be good. But as soon as it feels like it's kinda got a, uh, it's not real runny or watery, yes. then, you're, then you're good to go. And then we're gonna keep building. Totally. Yum. <laughs> okay, so look at that. That smell That's is so gorgeous. good. That's gorgeous. That's cool. We're gonna talk about that in just a moment. I'm gonna take I've, out these bay leaves. Take out the bay leaves and the cinnamon and the stick, cinnamon, please. Yeah. Okay, I have got, now we're gonna make this bechamel sauce that is distinctively Greek. It's so wonderful. Okay, I've got a whole <laughs> whopping <laughs> stick of butter, unsalted butter in here <laughs> that I've melted. And now we're gonna, we are making, what are we making? Uh, a roux, but this is a hefty roux, I tell yeah, you. Yeah, it's a big roux. Uh, it, it is, and because <laughs> you need, it, it, that's the, I love that in Greek um, dishes that has that thick layer of bushmel. Mm. It's just something about it. You said the other day, it kind of reminds you of like mashed potatoes, like totally. a sh shepherd pie, and, yeah. and that's a yeah. good analogy. Um, but it's, it's just but wonderful. It's not Potatoes. It's not. It's 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 just <laughs> like it's bashmel. Just bashmel. It's like a hard green sauce. It is, and so well, it's not hard, but yeah. No, but so right. anyway, we're gonna cook Thanks. this until it gets uh, the, the flour to taste cooks out. So this meat sauce, we we cook this for. You'll just you know sometimes it depends on how how strong your heat is, but we let this go for about thirty five to forty minutes, and you just keep stirring it until yeah. the majority of that liquid is gone. And see the consistency. Yeah, you, the consistency. It's still got a good amount of. Moisture, but it's not runny. It's not runny, right, or watery, as watery. you like to say. <laughs> so, okay, so now we've got, this is, I always say you want your roux to be kind of like the consistency of wet sand. So I would say that's what that we've is, got. That is, totally. So now over here, we don't have multiple burners over here. <laughs> so I'm just, you're just kind of take my word for it. But I have got four and a half cups of milk, of whole milk that I've warmed. And you want to okay. warm that. You're going to want to do this in stages. Um, because it's just going to take a little while for that milk to absorb into the roux, and uh, it's just it's going to get thick, and you're going to feel like, wait a minute, it's too lumpy. Just keep doing this gradually, and yeah. um, eventually you're going to have the consistency that you're looking for. Okay, now that this is great. The consistency that we're looking for. So you just keep stirring, you keep adding that milk and whisking. Eventually, I 
um, move over to like a wooden spatula like this. You just kind of want to keep working. It's going to feel like it's really lumpy and those lumps will eventually work themselves out. They'll get um, dissolved and, and part of the But if it still feels a little lumpy, I mean, I have found that that's perfectly fine. Totally. Um, it's, there's, it's going to be a little lumpy just because you got a thick root. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to add some more salt. We're going to do a teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to mix in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese because cheese makes yes. everything better. And then we're going to build, continue to build that warming uh, spice feeling, which is in flavor profile, which is a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Nutmeg. I love it. So we've I used, we've used allspice, ground cloves, cinnamon, and, um, and nutmeg. So, that, I mean, you talk about just that warmth and that flavor is it so incredible. It smells so good. It's really good. So now what we're going to do, we need to let this, I've turned off the heat, and we're going to let this cool for, I don't know, that, you just want to cool it until it's not super hot like it is right now. And then we're going to stir in two egg yolks. And that is what makes that bachmel really set. So you get that beautiful yes. thick layer on top that is just classic Greek. And then it's time to build our moussaka. <laughs> okay, we've got all of the components to make the most am oh. amazing moussaka in the world. Look so, at that. Well, are you going to tell them that you put those egg eggs oh, in Oh, I'm there? sorry. Yes. Yeah. So the, to, to finish off the eggs, after it, after it uh, cooled just a little bit, I added the two egg yolks yes. and um, just stirred that in until it got full <laughs> combined and again you can do this well in advance you can also do this whole thing in advance before you <laughs> bake it all right so we're going to start off with a beautiful layer i what i like I to, love you want to make sure that you've got equal uh, layers because we're going to do two layers of the zucchini uh, i'm sorry zucchini eggplant egg zucchini plant. would be great too um so i just sort of divide them like i divided the sauce over there and i divided the eggplant because you want to make you don't want to short chain you can probably do another i one will there. I'm going to do another one. And this, again, this doesn't have to fill every complete uh, crevice. It, you're going to be good. This is a 10 by 10 baking dish. You could also do this in a, a 9 by 13. Okay, so we started off with a layer of the eggplant. One more, one more little one. Okay. Let me just get it over here. Okay. We, we want a good foundation. Yes. Okay, so now we've split our uh, meat sauce in half, so we're going to do a layer of the meat sauce. So again, yes. this does not have to be perfect. You just want to have a nice layer. I know. That meat sauce. So the smell. Smells amazing. Okay, now this is one of my favorite parts. Is now we're gonna do just a layer of all of these beautiful browned potatoes. Here, help here. Me, let me help. Help, help me. Help me. <laughs> and um, this is this again. This is kind of like the layer of pasta. Isn't this so mm -hmm. awesome? <laughs> some people do. I'm like this is. I, I love it. I love it. But it's so interesting. Yeah. Some people don't do potatoes. Um, lots of, you know, so if, if you're Greek and you're a master at making moussaka, let us know. Do you use potatoes? What? And please, by all means, let us know what we're doing wrong. We, uh, <laughs> As much as we'd like to say that we know everything about Greek cuisine, <laughs> we don't. We're not Greek. So, okay, now we're going to do another layer of the meat of sauce. The meat sauce. <laughs> Now we have a nice, beautiful layer yes. of that. Fantastic. I'm going to move this out of the way since we're done with that. And now we're going to add some more eggplant. Eggplant. So I was going to say earlier, so eggplant um, is very absorbent. And uh, you may think, wow, it absorbs, it does absorb the oil. And so um, although we find it incredibly delicious, there are other ways you can do it. You can do the eggplant um, in the oven. You can uh, do it in the air fryer. You don't have to do it in the oil. You can also, same thing with the potatoes. You could uh, boil your potatoes to get them nice and soft. But you know, we're the type that like, if you're gonna fry it, you might as well just <laughs> fry it. <laughs> yes, bring <laughs> that mean, on we're down from, there. <laughs> we're from Texas, for heaven's sake. Okay, so now we've got this layer of marshmallow that we're gonna add. I love it. And uh, just kind of put it, we put it into blobs. And, it, it, and then we smooth it out. And then you we don't want to get any of the sauce on top. Right, you're going to smooth it out with a spatula works I best. I got myself a spatula. You sure do. Yeah.
Wesley, you are really good with a spatula. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that. Okay, look at that beautiful. That's bit of, gorgeous. That's so gorgeous. Now we've got a little more uh, grated Parmesan cheese because, like I said before, cheese makes everything better. This is, <laughs> oh, we're going to use about, a, I'm going to say a half a cup. Um, and I've got my oven preheated to 350, let's get that out of there, 350 degrees. And you're gonna wanna bake this until it just gets nice and golden, um, kind of just brownish on top. It takes anywhere from, I'd say 45 minutes to an hour. And, um, and then we're so, yes. close, so close to eating moussaka. <laughs> oh, the smell is insanely great. Oh, I love okay. it. Look! Wow, gorgeous. It's amazing. I just... That is gorgeous. Okay, close that for yeah, me, yeah, would you, yeah, Wesley? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Look at that. <gasps> amazing. It's, a, it's, it's like a, it's a, a Greek god, I tell you. It's just amazing. It's <laughs> so great. So it's also like the temperature of the sun. So yeah. we, need to let, <laughs> we need to let it cool off a little bit. If, if you let it cool for long enough, that if you can resist, then I love talking with my gloves. Mm -hmm. um, then you you get those really beautiful cuts, uh, you know that are like yes. perfectly. But if you can't wait and it's hot, that's okay. Yeah. So you you get a little seepage, which is probably what we're gonna do. Totally. We, you, I, we would recommend letting it rest for twenty minutes and then dig in. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the moment we've been waiting for. <laughs> we I couldn't wait that long. <laughs> I know it, it, we waited about like three and a half minutes. No, but seriously though. So okay, so I'm gonna do what we call the sacrificial first bite or first slice. Wow. Oh, it cuts that. so nice. Nicely. Um, oh, on the top, got that. I love that color on the top. I do too. I know it. Um, if so you let this sit a little longer, that that um, makes it easier. That cream to, so the bashmel will actually set. A set little and and but we're we're not ones to wait. No. Um, so now I'm gonna do what I I, I, this know, way. I know, but I don't like to go that way because it scrunches it. So I'm gonna <laughs> beca because you know I like to feed the loon. I'm going to. Oh, look at that. Yes. Wow, that's gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna take the first slice so I can try and get a really nice, beautiful neck slice. There you uh, go. For the loon. Oh, I see those potatoes. Yes. In there. Amazing. And it, you know, it's it's like lasagna. It it's if we had let this sit for uh, ten hours, then yeah. we'd get a gorgeous, yeah. a gorgeous, gorgeous slice. So like when I want to take pictures of a really nice yes. slice, I let it sit probably for about an hour. Yeah, we do. We mm -hmm. you know, but but you guys. You want to eat you this still, one? Yeah. Who cares what it looks you like? You want to eat when it's piping hot, and and I this isn't gonna be this. I should have waited, but look at that. Oh, Chris, come on, right here. I see the, the zucchini. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I tell you, Greek friends, uh, we love you. Oh. And we hope we're we we hope we that. We hope you, we're doing you proud. I I don't know. I'm I'm excited. I'm salivating for this. Mm, that looks wonderful, Chris. You see the little the line of the potatoes there. Ah, oh, okay. Leave it to, again. Leave it to the Greek. Leave it to the Greeks. The Greeks. All right. Oh wow. I am. I, I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's hot, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to blow on your. Oh, that zucchini. Oh, I love I'm making a mess. I mean eggplant. Why do we keep calling it a zucchini? I, I love eggplant. You're going in. Tell me when you're going in so we can do it together. Okay, okay, I'm going. Oh, wow. Mm. That is a flavor explosion. Unbelievable. That is so good. Y'all. Mind blowingly good. Oh, that sauce, Chris. Yeah, the, and the bashmel on top. Oh. What I love, of what, what's oh. unique, what, what grabs your attention is the hint of like the cinnamon and the allspice and the clove. Totally. It's not too much. You may be thinking that, what is it, like a cinnamon roll? Oh. It's not. It's just so, it's so warming. And What is it, like a cinnamon roll? What are we eating, a cinnamon roll? <laughs> oh, oh my I'm, goodness. I'm trying to get this bite into me, mm. in here. Oh wow, okay. And that bashmel. It's like a, it's, it, it kind of is like reminiscent of like really light uh, mashed potatoes. Mm. It's the, it's like the Greek oh. shepherd's pie. I know. <laughs> he has a hard time with heat. <laughs> Unbelievable. Y'all, this is, this is so good. I, it really is just so good. And it's 100,000% loot approved. Yeah. You guys. Make some moose.
sucker. It'll <laughs> suck you out. I tell you, it's the it's like the oh. Olympian winner of them all. Totally. It's so good, you guys. The gods are eating this on Mount Olympic. This was Olympic? Oh, yeah. All right, we love you guys, everybody. <laughs> We've been making moussaka all day, and we are so excited to share it with you. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>